Well, today's the big day, hopefully. We are going to be adding turkey to the homestead. They were shipped Tuesday, and today's Thursday, and they're supposed to arrive today. <clears throat> this is our second attempt. Uh, a couple weeks back, they shipped them out, and uh, they arrived two days late, and unfortunately, none of them survived. So, get ready to head to the post office. Let's see what happens. Good morning everyone. Good morning. They get excited. You guys are going to be getting some turkey buddies. Getting some turkey buddies. What are you doing Zena? I'm not going anywhere yet. I'm not leaving yet. You don't have to sit in there all day. day. If she gets an inkling that she thinks I might be going somewhere, if she gets the opportunity to jump in the vehicle, she'll sit there and stay in that vehicle, or she'll lay right by the driver's side door outside of it. She likes to go for rides, that's for sure. We still got a little bit. It's still early. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, Zena. Michelle, you copy? All right, this is from the driveway, right at the entrance of the driveway. So we bought these two-way radios. We've had them for a long time, and we just kind of use them around the cabin a little bit, but I haven't tested them from around different spots on the property. So. I'm headed to get the turkeys, so I thought, well, I'm going to give these a couple tests and see how far I can actually reach her with these little two-way radios. So let's see what happens. Right now, we're just under, from cabin to here, it's just under, just under a quarter mile. All right, I'm going to try it again. This time, I'm down the road from the cabin, and it's probably... Probably a little over a mile and it's not direct line of sight and these radios are line of sight so I'm gonna give it a shot Michelle you copy Michelle you copied this radio No, so I kind of expected that. It may look, a lot of the videos, it may look like it's flat around my property, but it's not. It's, we have rolling hills. And from where I'm at, I'm a little bit above her and she's kind of set down a little bit on our property. Our property kind of goes down. So, no bueno. No Richie Michelle from here. So let's get to the post office and see if our turkey's there. They haven't called yet. And it, it's an hour drive for me to get to the post office, so I figured I'd kind of get a head start. And it's 25 miles of dirt road before I hit pavement, and then I got about another 30 miles, 25 miles to get to the post office. So let's get her done. Always gotta be careful driving through here. It's free range, so you never know when there's some cattle in the road. That one there is nice and comfy, right in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, living off grid, you think about moving in a rural area, if you can, if it's possible, like I said, for, it's an hour drive for me to get to town, right? And so two hours all together. So you wanna think about we have our truck that I use for, you know, the heavy duty stuff. But then we got this little Ford Escape here and gas saver. So doing things like running the post office, just going to town or whatever, man, you save a lot of gas. So think about that. If you just have a bunch of big heavy trucks, that's gonna cost you some money running to town. So if you can get you a little, uh, you know, a little gas saver, 
and have your truck, I'd do it. But if you only can get one, obviously get a truck. So, all right, head to the post office. Well, we finally hit the pavement. All right, I got a call to action for y'all. There's a channel I watch out there. Uh, it's called the Idaho Hillbilly. Great channel, great guy, great family. He's been doing it for a long time. He's got a way bigger channel than I have. And he puts out videos every day. But just recently, they're dealing with some issues and uh, unexpected issues. So I just asked if you guys could go over there, maybe give his channel a little support and help him out. Um, just see what we can do to, from our end to, to give them some support. Great channel. Idaho Hillbilly. There they are. They look like they're alive. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get them home, get them in the brooder, and get them all squared away. All right, we are officially on the driveway. Now, I didn't get a full count on the turkey. I just kind of looked in there and I, in the box where I could see because they have it zip tied closed and I didn't want them jumping out while I was driving so we're gonna check make sure they're all alive when I get there to the house and go from there all right there's our 10 turkeys this is a straight run uh, mixed heritage breeds so we'll grow them out and see what we end up with here all right let's get them in the brooder so this is our temporary brooder Turkeys aren't as self-sufficient as chicks, so we have them in here, and there's not a whole lot they can do. Have their food here, their water here, and they can go under the brooder here, or get on top of it if they want to get out of it. Now this is a tractor supply. I got this at Tractor Supply, and it only oops, jumping out. It only costs, or it only uses 40 watts. So being off grid, it works great. So, all right, let's get them in here. We'll get this, this one that's running around here. So each one, show them the food. Show them the water. And then let them go. So I'm gonna do all 10 of them like that. So those turkey seem to be nice and healthy this time. The first 10 that we had ordered, none of them made it, and I think that was the fault of the post office. So we got those from Hoover's Hatchery, and they were the only ones that had them available that we could find this time of year. And also there was free shipping, so that made a difference, and they are guaranteed for 48 hours after arrival. So, can't complain. And our goal is, when we were looking for turkey and stuff locally, there wasn't much available even to get uh, eggs, hatching eggs, nothing available. So our goal is to build, not only to feed us, but to also be able to sell a few here and there around Thanksgiving and get some hatching eggs available for those who are wanting to hatch eggs out on their homestead. So that's it, looks like it's gonna be a success. I'll keep all updated. So turkeys on the homestead, yee-haw. Y'all have a good one. Like and subscribe to keep up. We'll catch you on the next one.